Well, hello there and greetings to you. It is Matthew McDonald here and welcome to this video. We're going to do a super quick training on exactly what you need to do to optimize your video for Amazon S3. And what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, we're going to actually optimize the video really quickly on our desktop. We're going to use Handbrake. Then we're going to head over to our S3 console amazon console and we're going to go ahead create a bucket uh, add the file set the permissions and just make sure everything's working fine now in this uh, example what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using uh, the video stack pro which is an awesome new tool for adding multiple videos uh, to a single uh, single page or a single video stack, but you can use this for any type of video streaming that you're doing online. So let's get started. And the first thing we're going to do, you can see here I'm inside of WordPress. I've got video stack ready to go. Let's go to my computer and I'm actually recording this in ScreenFlow and even though you do a ScreenFlow export, the video size is going to be really big. So I would recommend to still do this process uh, to get a really fast loading video. So here we go. I've got a video file here ready to go. Now this one I purchased online at VideoHive and it's got a .mov format. And the name of it is, uh, what is it? Black and white film countdown with sound. So we, we can see here it's 58.1 megabytes. What we're going to do is we're going to first of all prepare this video really quickly. And then we're going to go ahead and upload it to our S3 storage. And then we're going to go and add it to a video player and stream it online. So to do this, I'm going to open up Handbrake. Let me just bring it into view here and just navigate to that file. And what we're going to do is we're going to compress this video. We're going to make it much smaller and still maintain the quality. Now Handbrake is great. It's free. You can use it on Windows and Mac. You can just Google Handbrake and go and pick it up. I'll also put, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I will put the description, the link in the description. Hey, just a side note here, post-production note. When I created this video, when you open up Handbrake, it opened up all ready to go with the actual navigator where you find your file, select your file. If this does not happen on your computer, you just click open source. So open source will always take you to this stage and then you select the file that you want to be converting. Let's get back to the lesson. So let's go ahead and open that. Now the presets are pretty good. You can go and mess around and make this file even smaller. But the most important thing is that you select web optimized and you're pretty good, pretty much ready to go. And then you need to choose the name. So here we can see we've got upper case, lower case, spaces. What you want to do for naming files is you want to use lower lower case as a naming convention and then you want to avoid any special characters and spaces. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put here count countdown video and you can see this is a nice f file name and we've got .mp4 at the end ready to go and then we just select here for the location where we're going to save the file i'm going to put it in the same folder here and you'll see the difference in a moment you can go ahead and select your thumbnail but i've actually done this a few times i haven't noticed any difference so let's go ahead and click start and it's going to go ahead and encode that video create a copy of it one that's ready for the web so there we go all done now back in our folder here you can see here's our original 58.1 megabytes and here's our countdown video 1.5 megabytes not only that but it's also I move the metadata to the start of the video, which means that's basically being web optimized. So when the video loads, it doesn't have to load the whole video to start playing it. 
which is often the case with video files. Basically, it first tells the browser, hey, this is the size of the video. This is what's going on with this video and it can start playing it straight away. So, hey, let's head over to Amazon S3 console. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this from scratch. So we're going to create a new bucket. Now to get to this page, you possibly already know how to get here, but you've got your services. Obviously, I'm logged into my Amazon console. And from here, we can see S3. And that'll bring us to this page here. So let's go ahead and create a bucket. Now the bucket name needs to be unique. So what I'd recommend you to do is to have a prefix just to make things easier, a little bit like an email, and then we're going to give it a name. So let's do S3 training. And I've got their Mr. MCD prefix. So quite quite likely this is this is not taken. Let's go ahead and click next. Uh, this is fine. We can skip this part. Click next. And then what we need to do here, just unselect block all public access. What we're going to do is we're going to set the public access per file. So we don't want to block this bucket uh, access to this bucket. We're going to need that. So uncheck that. It'll uncheck all of those. Click next. Create bucket. And let's go down here. There we go, we can see our bucket. Let's go ahead and select that. And now we're inside our bucket. So what we're gonna do, obviously, is we're gonna upload that file we just created. So clicking Upload, Add File, and let's go to our training folder here, and we're gonna choose this nice, small, optimized video file. Choose Upload, click Next, you can skip this part. Just click next. For this one, don't get too caught up here. Just leave it on standard. Uh, you do have other options for files that you're not going to be using frequently. For video files, I would recommend you to leave it on standard. And let's go ahead and click upload. And now we can see the video is being uploaded. Almost done. And we're done. Okay, let's select that video, have a look at it here. And now you can see our information here and the object URL is what we're interested in. Now this video is not yet going to work. So if you go ahead and grab this URL, it is being protected, which means you won't be able to, uh, you won't be able to stream it on a video player. So what we can do is let's go ahead and copy this and try this out. It's not going to work, but we can see here you'll get an access denied XML message like that. So what we need to do is make this public. So here we've got a button, make public, all done. Now let's go back to that file there and we can refresh the page. And now you can see the video is playing in the browser, which means our video is ready to go. So let's go back, let's try this out. So I'm just using this link here. We're going to go to my video stack pro. I've got a new video stack here. Add video. Just give it a title. Pasting in the video URL here. And now you can see the video is loading. Okay. So we can play it here in the video player. And there's our countdown beautifully streaming directly from Amazon S3. If you want to check out the Video Stack Pro, I've included a special coupon code there, VSPM100. And to apply the coupon, first of all, you can go to the offer page, check out the video, see if this is something you can use, then select your package. When you get to the checkout page, you'll see there I have a coupon uh, button link just go ahead and click that link and put in your coupon code there let's just try this out so now you can see uh, you'll get an additional 50 percent off which in this case totals 63 percent depending when you go and pick this up so that's video stack pro hey thanks so much for watching this tutorial 
and um, now you can uh, go ahead and optimize your videos for Amazon S3 and uh, deliver some really nice experiences uh, to your viewers, to the end user. All right, it's Matthew McDonald here, the real video guy. I will see you in another video very soon. Cheers.